Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how the Akiba component works. For those of you that don't know, Akiba component is a component which makes uh, backups for your website. If you click on components, you can see that I already, already installed Akiba backup. This is how it looks like in, in your website if you have installed it. And if you want to backup a, a, a site, you click on backup now. You can add a comment. Active profile. Okay. And now I'm going to click on the backup now. This is what you're going to see when it's making a backup. In the meantime, I'm going to show you with which program you have to use to unzip your backup file if you want to, for example, use it online. It's the Akiba software. Akiba backup. Okay. Yeah, you got the software for Akiba that, uh, that I've installed on the on the Joomla site but you also have the products here and you have to look for the Akiba Extract Wizard you don't need a web server you just download the file the Extract Wizard and once the once the file is ready, you can use this file. But I already created a, a a backup, so I'm going to show you now what the Akiba Extract Wizard will do for you. First of all, I'm going to computer. I'm going to look for the C and the SEM and uh, the Hathi Docs. And I'm going to create a new map. I'm going to call it test because I already have the Epto one. Okay, now it's this one then. And I'm going to remove what's in there. Okay, then I'm going to go for the Akiba Extract Wizard that I have already downloaded. And I'm going to use the archive file that I've already created. Let's say thirty nine. It's the file. I'm going to click on open. Then I'm going to go to the extract folder here. In this case, I want it to be extracted. in the uh, SEM folder let's see there we got computer and there we go to C and there we see ZEM and there we go to Hathi Docs and there we go to the test folder. We click on OK on the test folder. Click on OK. And then we click on extract like this. Then it's extracting the backup to the test for a test directory.
this will take some time. So I'm going to look for the file. It actually has created a new backup. And now you can click on manage backups. I click on allow manage backups. The uh, next thing it has to do is go to the backups. And when you're in the backup file, you can click on download and you have the entire full site backup including the SKU downloaded for you. So then you click on download and then you it will take some time and then it downloads the file for you. There you go. And this this download you can use in the Akiba extract file extractor this wizard. Let's see. We got here. It successfully extracted the archive. Okay. Now I created a test folder. We go to the test. This is what you get when you install the Akiba Akiba install engine. And this is coming from your backup file. I'm going to click on next and when you're offline your database is always localhost. in the in XAMPP your username will be root your password you don't have to fill in well your database name I still have to create that one so we that was my clock okay now we go back to the 190 PFE my admin it will open the PFE my admin and then I have to create like you can see a test let's see if there's anything in there no I've already created it hopefully but normally you go to database you create you add a test and you click on create. That's how you create this database. I'm going back to the installer. I'm going to create a test here. And then I'm going to click on next. Now it's going to install all the necessary files for you. And then you have to click on next step. Okay. And once you are finished, you can create a super administrator. It don't have to be admin, you can create at your own name. And then you have to fill in a password. And then I'm going to go to the next button and it says remove the installation map or the installation directory. I'm going to click on the remove the insula installation directory and then I'm going to visit the front end of the website.
news page. Just an example of how a website can look like. It's how the shop could look like. There are so many options and so many templates here, so your website can look totally different with a new template. And this is actually came with the, the slideshow, actually came with the template itself. And now I'm going to show you the administrator. Show you that it will work, the same as normal. I'm going to log in. This is also working. This is actually the back end of Joomla. And it will also have the, have the backup in it that you have created just, for the, just before. If you have created a backup, it will show in this backup system as well. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you will come back to my channel soon to visit more of my videos and tutorials.